Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're going to be talking about tomatoes. Today I'm actually doing the update on our tomatoes that we planted back in April, and as you can see, they've just finally started creating this um, canopy. My goal is to create this tomato cave that I've been doing every single year. I grow my tomatoes vertically with a one, two, three, and sometimes a four stem vine, which I control, growing vertically, and then as we're done, it starts growing overhead. And then I start getting these tomatoes overhead, which I'm going to show you momentarily. The first thing I want to show you is just the update. This here um, next to me is a um, is one of the cherry varieties called Sweet 100. I'll show you the label here. But you can see that I planted this about 30 days ago. So you can see that if you plant your tomatoes late in the season, you're only going to start getting these little baby tomatoes that maybe I'll get some harvest off of. But had I planted them earlier, I would have been enjoying a much better crop by now. And I would have actually been harvesting for the last couple of months. Next to me here is an early grow variety, which I'm growing as a two stem. Right here are the two stems. And as you can see, here are the clusters of tomatoes that usually, um, in my garden, grown clusters of anywhere from five to up to 10 tomatoes per section. Um, there's a few ripe tomatoes near the bottom, but they're not quite close enough. Um, oh, and I've got this can here, which I want to show you. It's called Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. It's a natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents for use on roses and fruit and nut trees and ornamental trees and shrubs and I'm actually going to put a link down below in the video where you can actually see when we first planted and installed these tomatoes back in April it was a hot day um, and we actually used one or two teaspoons of this product in a spray bottle and we actually cooled the plants off to get them established but we also use these trees throughout the garden on our um, pretty much all of our fruit trees our avocados or citrus um, nut trees Pretty much everything so um, just want to share that with you and you'll see the link to that down below this next tomato that I have next to me is called the better boy variety and you can take a look at these tomatoes how large they are these are um, one of the beefsteak varieties um, you'll notice as well as we're passing through if you take a look over here you see that there's a spider web in the place and here's the little spider you can take a look over here and if we go up a little further, you'll actually see some droppings, which are coming off of a caterpillar. I was trying to find it. Usually if the droppings here, you just look up and I can usually find the caterpillar, but I actually tried searching for it this morning. No luck. Um, and one of our viewers actually with Ivory Organic said, when it comes to the caterpillars, why don't you just leave them? And so I've actually done so. As long as the damage, you'll notice um, in our garden, there's quite a few as we continue, you're gonna see quite a, quite a bit of damage here um, on the tomatoes, but overall, the success, still give it an A, if not an A plus. They're performing very well. A lot of vigor, a lot of growth, a lot of flowers, a lot of fruits, um, but there is some damage that's happening, and that's part of the biology of having a healthy garden. So when you see the spiders and you see the caterpillars, which are feeding the birds um, and feeding that spider, and take a look what else is actually happening here. You can actually see there's some leaf miners here which are caterpillars that are actually um, existing between the leaves, or actually tunneling in between. You'll notice there's nothing behind it and nothing in front of it, but there's actually an insect that's crawling in between. More holes on the plants. If we go down below, you'll actually notice there's even more holes, more damage, discoloration of the leaf as, um, as these plants are getting worn. But at night, there's actually a lot of um, a lot of roly polies, a lot of slugs, a lot of snails, like everything come out, but that's all part of the biology that's actually consuming and eating and actually recycling this organic matter back into the soil so that every time we water, it's actually enriching the soil and producing more fruit. Let's take a look what's going on down here. I just noticed there's some ripe tomatoes. So this here is one of the better boy varieties. We're actually gonna pluck that out. So you can actually take a look. What a beautiful tomato, organically grown. No chemical fertilizers and no pesticides. We've actually not even organically placed any pesticides on these plants as well. There's been no neem oil, no castor oil, no, um, no spinosad, which is another organic product that could be used for controlling insects. Because once you control the pests, you're also killing the predators as well, such as the praying mantis and the spiders and the ladybugs and all the beneficial things. So we've actually let this grow organically. And I'd say we have lost maybe less than 10% of our tomato crop. I'll show you some um, other issues as well. So we'll put this here in the basket. We'll come over here, you'll actually notice these here is a continuation off the better boy. You can actually see this is the vine. If you can zoom in, you'll notice that this is the four in the vine. Again, more damage to the leaves. They're all chewed up, discoloration. 
Again, another miner that's grown through here, some type of leaf miner, which is you know something in the caterpillar family. More holes in the leaves, more holes in the leaves. Most of the damage is actually lower in the plant. And if we come in here again, we actually can find another better boy, tomato. And when we cut it, we try to leave a little bit of the stem on the plant until we actually use the plant. So two better boy tomatoes again. You can see the size of these tomatoes. Beautiful size. My preference is to actually grow something that's more on the medium to small side, such as these early grow tomatoes. Take a look at that. And as we go up, you can actually see we've actually been, we removed this tomato and this tomato and that tomato and that tomato. So there's a lot more tomatoes here earlier. And here's the next cluster of tomatoes. Take a look in here. Let me actually get my scissors and I'll actually prune a couple out. Take a look at that. So these are the early growth tomatoes. Let me put those side by side with the better boy variety. So you can actually see here on my right hand is the better boy. This here is the early girl. The early girl, they actually are far more productive. Um, and again, if there's any damage, because you have so much more tomatoes, it's not such a huge percentage loss against your plants. So our better boy, our early girl, and let's just keep on coming through. If we take a look now, down below, you'll actually see how I've actually grown this. This one's actually a clear example. You'll see this is the stem coming out of the ground. To the left is the first stem, and to the right is the second stem. And I've grown these as a two-stem tomato, and then they just keep growing up. And if there's any offshoots, like over here, you can see there was another branch that was coming out. We actually removed it. And we're growing this as a single stem, growing up this way until it creates this canopy, which has formed all of these tomatoes that are now overhead. And this will continue throughout the growing season, which is a few more months to go. Our next tomato over here is a Roma variety. You can take a look at that. Another large tomato. We'll go and we'll actually pluck that one over here. We actually could have left this another day or two, but you can see this here is um, one of the Roma variety um, created by Heinz. It's called a Heinz Roma. And next year, we have is the San Marzano tomato. You can see this here is a smaller one, but you can see how large they get. It's kind of like the Roma shape, but the great thing about the San Marzano is that it's an indeterminate variety, meaning that it keeps on producing fruit and it keeps on growing throughout the growing season. So this will continue producing, continue to producing throughout the season. Um, whereas the Roma variety, which is over here, Go to a determinate size and most of the fruit will actually ripen around the same period of time usually within a matter of a few weeks whereas this being the san marzano again my favorite tomato variety the early girl variety will continue growing throughout the entire growing season making large tomatoes small tomatoes and we'll continue to let me see if i can find some flowers as well if you take a look over here you can actually see the flowers as well so everything's happening here in the garden at all times of the growing season on this early grow or the indeterminate tomato varieties. So consider um, you know, your varieties when planting your tomatoes. Anyways, this is our four month update. Again, we started planting these back in April with the exception of this early grow variety that we put in the ground in February. Um, again, I recommend that you actually do start your plants earlier in the season. And by doing so, you'll actually enjoy more crops during the growing season than if you actually start later, as we did at the beginning. You, you saw, as we did with the cherry variety, the Sweet 100 tomato variety. So again, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of Ivory Organics, 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this um, update. This is our four month update on our tomatoes here in the garden. We'll actually have another one or two more as we, um, as we bring this tomato growing season to a conclusion. I hope you found this informative, and if so, be sure to like it. And most importantly, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the rest of our Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard videos. Thanks again for watching, and happy gardening.